Assalamu alaikum. In the previous video, we have discussed the addition and the subtraction of vectors using a geometrical method. In this video, we will discuss the analytical method of adding and subtracting vectors. Suppose if you have two vectors, vector A and vector B. A and vector B. If uh, these two vectors are represented by a coordinate system, then it becomes easy for us to add or subtract them. How? What is this uh, coordinate system? A co coordinate system is nothing but a set of uh, axes. So, let me show this to you with the help of a diagram. A coordinate system so, appears something like this. So, what I have drawn here on the board is nothing but Cartesian coordinate system. Here, this is the x-axis, this y-axis, and this is a z-axis. This is a collectively called as coordinate system. So this uh, coordinate system is used to find uh, the position of any object. Now, uh, I think you remember in the types of vectors, we discussed about orthogonal vectors. Orthogonal vectors are those which act along these uh, axes, so, which act uh, perpendicular to each other. So, the orthogonal vector which acts along the x axis is nothing but i cap. So, it is a kind of a unit vector. And uh, uh, the orthogonal vector which acts along y axis, uh, the unit vector which acts along y axis is nothing but j cap. No, if you remember, I have told you this is this symbol is read as cap or hat. Okay, so you can read this one as j cap or j hat. And the unit vector which acts along z axis is nothing but k cap. So, these are three vectors act perpendicular to each other. If I say that y axis and z axis act perpendicular to each other, the angle between them is 90 degree. But the angle between x and y axis do not appear to be 90 degree. Then why do we say that they are mutually perpendicular to each other? There is a reason. Let me tell you why is it so. Actually, when we say coordinate system, we need to draw three lines which act mutually perpendicular to each other. Now, let me show you the help of these uh, three pens. Uh, suppose uh, this is uh, this represents uh, z axis and uh, this red pen represents uh, y axis. Then the x axis is represented by this green pen. Actually, it uh, projects outward from the board, but it is not possible to draw a line projecting outward. So we draw a line which is inclined to y axis and z axis. Though the angle does not appear to be 90 degree, but actually this line, this inclined, this cross line actually represents the line along the direction of this green pin. So see the angle between this green pin and Red pen is 90 degree. Similarly, the, the angle between this green pen and blue pen is again 90 degree. And if you see, if you take any three, let me put this and show. If you take any two axes, any two pen, and find out the, the angle between them, you find it is nothing but 90 degree. So we can say they are mutually perpendicular to each other. Okay, so. The unit vectors which acts along these axes are referred as orthogonal vectors. So, by considering this uh, coordinate, one can easily split a given vector into its uh, components. The component of vector A along the x-axis is nothing but Ax. And uh, the component of A vector along 
y axis is a y and the component we have to along z axis is nothing but a z now these three represents the magnitude we must plot them uh, direction in order to have a complete uh, vector quantity clear so along x axis i take a i cap no this is unit vector which possesses a magnitude equal to 1 i think you remember so whenever it is multiplied with something it uh, gets a direction but uh, the magnitude do not change because when you multiply something with 1 the value remains as such okay and with the uh, ay i multiply j cap and then with a z i multiply k cap clear now i am going to add these three things fine yes. this is something but the three components of a vector then i will follow the same method for b vector as well now using components i'm going to split the b vector into its uh, corresponding components so it can be written as a i'm sorry b, b x a cap plus b y j cap plus b z k cap these are the components of B vector. Now, using component method, using these three components, I am going to add or subtract these two vectors. Let's do it. First, I will add them. B vector plus B vector. To add these two vectors, what we do? What we do? We take the components of A and B, adding along a a similar coordinate. So first, I take this two. Yeah. So the component of a vector acting along x axis is ax. Hmm. Okay. Just I'll do one thing. I'll increase one step here for a better understanding. Okay. I write this in the switch. Then I add them with the, this so bx i cap by j cap then b z k cap so three things okay so better understanding i just take them within bracket there yeah, now See, both the A vector and B vector have got three components. So, I take a similar components together. No. Next component, here is next component. Take them together. And both of them have a similar term, that is I cap. So, to the outside, plus AY plus BY. Well, they have a similar uh, unit of task, this J cap plus AZ plus BZ. But a uh, single component. This is mentioned here this way. This is uh, the method of add addition of vectors using components, using their components. A similar way, if you want to subtract vectors. What one can do? Let me write this here addition of vectors. Now I'll show you how, how to subtract vectors. So we follow the same method. In the place of plus, I have to mention minus sign. That's it. Subtraction of Task. 
Okay, let's do it. Zero tar minus a zero tar. Wherever I have plus, it has to be replaced with the minus sign. Plus, so replace with minus, and here the x in the place of plus, I write minus i cap plus. J cap plus AZ minus BZ. This is K cap. This is how one can subtract two vectors using their components. I hope uh, the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put questions, questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.